Justice, Justice Alito. <clears throat> well, the, the secretary did what he did. Uh, <clears throat> so presumably he had and has a view about the fairness question that the Chief Justice posed to you. What is that view? So the secretary understood the statutory authority and mandate here to focus on whether this national emergency was going to leave borrowers worse off because of the pandemic. This is Congress deciding that the government should be in a position to provide benefits solely within the context no, no, of the student I, I loan program. Yeah, no, I, and I don't think there's any part of the statutory analysis. This is Congress's judgment that borrowers should be able to get relief if the secretary makes these determinations with no suggestion that the relief should turn on or off based on the possible impacts on those outside the student loan program. Congress obviously knew when it was giving this authority to take care of borrowers who are otherwise going to be worse off that that might have otherwise impacts outside the program, but it wanted to make sure the secretary could provide relief to borrowers. Was the secretary legally obligated to do what he did? No, did he's not required to provide relief under right, the HEROES so he Act. he decided to do what he did and must have had reasons for uh, for doing it, and some of them are, are on the record, some may not be, but the secretary, if you're right, then the secretary presumably could do more, and therefore I think it's a fair question to say what is your client's view about the fairness question that some people have posed and that was re reiterated for you by the, the Chief Justice. The view of the department is that this why is, it is fair? warranted. Why is it fair? If it was to, if he didn't have to do it, why is it an answer to say that it was warranted? Maybe it was warranted, but why was it done? I guess you don't want to answer the question. It was fair because in the absence of this relief, it's undisputed that there are going to be millions of student loan borrowers who are not going to be able to pay their, their student loans, who yeah, are going to I, and, into default and, and delinquency. And, and, they, and the HEROES Act was specifically designed for this situation. This is Congress telling the secretary, you don't have to let that happen. And when we have this kind of a pandemic uh, that requires this kind of relief, I think that the HEROES Act is operating right within its domain. Uh, I'll try one more time. Why was it fair to the people who didn't get arguably comparable relief. Now, it may be that their interests were uh, outweighed by the interests of those who were benefited, or they were somehow less deserving of uh, solicitude, but what is your answer to that question? My answer to that question is that Congress has already made the judgment that when there is a national emergency that affects borrowers in this way, the secretary can provide relief. And you could make this critique of every prior exercise of HEROES Act authority. There, too, you could say, well, that only benefits the specific enumerated affected individuals, but it's Congress who defined those individuals, and the secretary acted properly here in giving them relief.